In ancient times, the king invented a set of body test molds, and whoever could pass the test without triggering the bell would be elected the queen. But surprisingly, all three candidates were very strict about their figures, and they all passed with flying colors. The king was so interested that he had the idea to bring three glasses of wine and said that one of them was poison and they could choose the one who survived to be the queen. But unexpectedly just when the opponent hesitation time Lisa actually took the three cups of wine in turn, drink all of them but the strange thing is that Lisa did not have any signs of poisoning. The king was surprised and asked her how she knew the wine wasn't poisoned. But Lisa said, if you can be a wise king who is admired by all the people in the world, naturally you won't let innocent women die for your pleasure. She then pointed to the condemned man on the ground. As soon as Lisa finished speaking, the condemned man on the ground stood up. Unbeknownst to the king, the three tests tested their beauty, intelligence and courage. And it was obvious that Lisa had all of these, and the king was so happy that he made her queen on the spot. But at this time the king would never have imagined that the queen he had chosen would soon be cuckolding him. It turns out that not long ago, Lisa was on her way to the palace when she was robbed by a group of bandits. Lisa was taken away by the bandits because of her beauty. But fortunately, a pair of knights happened to pass by, and the leader, Ron, tried his best to save Lisa, but after seeing Lisa's beauty, Ron fell in love with her. Lisa didn't want to marry the king, so she begged Ron to run away with her, but Ron hesitated. How could a knight compete with the king? But before Ron could make a decision, the next morning the king's guards were to escort Lisa to the palace. Seeing the desperate look in Lisa's eyes as she left, Ron finally regretted it. So he disguised himself as an envoy and followed her to the palace to attend the queen's selection ceremony. He thought he had a chance until Lisa lost, but unfortunately, Lisa came out on top and became queen, while everyone was celebrating. Ron looked at Lisa with a sad face, unbeknownst to him. Natalie, who had lost the election, was watching, jealous of Lisa. Nuffy decided to take revenge on her and immediately reported the incident to the king, claiming that Ron and Lisa must be having an affair. But the king, who had just been crowned queen, didn't listen to her and even told her to get out of the palace. But the king was suspicious and to reassure him, he ordered his maid to find Ron and ask him to meet him in his bedchamber tonight. And Ron came to the queen's chambers that night as promised. Unaware of this, Lisa thought that Ron had changed his mind and they hugged each other in a moment of excitement. Unbeknownst to her, the king was watching. The king was so angry that he put her in a cell and was going to execute her in front of the palace the next morning. But just as Lisa was about to be executed, a group of beggars approached her.